Hi, so now that you know how the maths, alpha channels and maths work, now we can go on and create the mat by using the rotoscoping technique. Rotoscoping is when you trace an object frame by frame by using the pen tool in order to extract it from the scene and later to be integrated with another element like a background. Let's now see that in action. So let's say we need to cut out the girl from this background and replace the background with something more simple. In order to do that, you need to select the layer where the girl is and on the top left toolbar select Pen Tool. Then you just trace the object that you need in the shot by creating the points on the screen. And once you connect the dots, you created the mask. Everything that is inside is visible and anything that is beyond the mask is invisible. You can check it by toggling the transparency grid over here. Now one layer can have many masks. So if we select this layer and create more masks, it will reveal the picture in that area. So you can have more than one. Once you create the mask, they are visually represented under the layer. You can just choose layer and click M and it will open all the masks. Or you can simply click this arrow and you will see all of them being under the layer stacked together. Each one of them has got its own setting that can be controlled independently. Now let's delete those two unnecessary ones. If we play the video, you will see that our mask stays in place and that's not what we need. We need it to follow along the girl. In order to do that, we need to create the motion and animate it. We need to open the mask underneath the layer and click the stopwatch next to the mask path. This way, we create this shape known as keyframe. If you go further in the timeline and move or change the shape of our mask, it will automatically create the keyframe on the timeline. If we go back, you will see that it remembers the shape of the mask at the first frame because we have a keyframe here that holds the information and it just gradually moves from the first shape of the mask that we are assigning to to the second shape. This is the point of the keyframe. You animate the motion. But this is not the right way to rotoscope, especially in this case, a human motion. All joints and hand and head moves on its own through a different path. That means you will need to put a lot of work and be very cautious of the motion. It is advisable to isolate the object by breaking it down into many masks rather than one as it will be easier to shape the mask through the timeline by following the motion of the object but let's concentrate on one mask at a time and fill in the rest of the frames after the mask is created everything beyond disappears it will be much easier to animate the shape of the mask when you can see the whole picture to do that you have to drop down the menu next to the mask and select none but don't forget to bring it back by choosing add once you are finished before we continue we have to activate the stopwatch then go through the timeline and stop before the next major change in motion of the part that we are isolating. It can be a change in speed or a change in direction. In this case, we see that the arm moves left and then stops and then moves back to the right. So the smartest thing to do would be to animate at the point when it stops and change the shape of the mask there. So it covers the same part in its different position now. Then scroll back to the first keyframe and see if it follows the hand well. In this case, it doesn't and it covers the background that we do not need. So so you just need to trace the hand again and it will automatically create the keyframe here. Just scroll back and forth and fix the places for the mask to cover the hand only throughout the motion. So if we edit now, you will see only hand being traced. Do the same for all other masks, for all body parts, and you will have a full isolated object which now can be rendered as a mat for the compositor to be used. Now he will be able to change the background. As you can see, masking is a very tedious and long process, so I advise you to turn on the music or the audiobook and just enjoy. I showed you a really basic manual rotoscoping technique here. If you want me to go more into detail and share some additional skills and tips uh, in order to enhance your rotoscoping and handle some difficult situations there, guess what? <laughs> just subscribe, like the video, share it. Thank you for your patience so far, as always, and see you in the next tutorials.